Buddy, I expect the comics and I'm back. This time, I got a package in the mail from my good friend, Jade. We ended up doing um, a trade and uh, he also put in an A-OK -okay in there on top of it. So uh, if you're interested in seeing what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So, like I said, ended up getting a package in. Uh, this came in a while ago. I just haven't, like I said, like my other videos, just haven't had the time to record it. Um, this was in the uh, middle of May. <laughs> so sorry, Jade. Um, this was entailing a trade we did back when i was in colorado i ended up uh, trading him because he's a huge venom fan my um uh, venom 3 third printing the uh, first null it was a signed copy of 98 and uh, he ended up doing a trade with me in cash and um also ended up purchasing a book if i'm not mistaken from his comic shop and he also threw in an a-ok -okay. so we got a a trade, a purchase, and an A-OK. -okay. So uh, hopefully I got that all right. So uh, I'm gonna open up this package and uh, we'll see what's inside. All right, so a little fast forward in there for you. Hopefully that helped out. All right, so Got the books in here. Pretty sure. All right. So we'll do the trade first. So like I said he was really after my uh, Venom three. Um, so I'm happy that it went to him because he's a huge Noel fan. And um, I've been really enjoying the uh, We Live series. And uh, he had this book. So I ended up trading it with this and uh, some cash. And um, he ended up putting in the We Live issue number one. This is the Peach Momoko Virgin Edition El Rey Comics exclusive. Really cool cover. I'm not the biggest Peach Momoko fan, to be honest. But uh, this one is, is, is a pretty cool cover, if you ask me. And uh, here's the back. Pretty cool, a little Aftershock promo. So uh, that was the trade. Really pumped with this. Uh, hoping this book gets optioned. I know there was some rumblings about it a few weeks ago. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but it's nonetheless, it's been a fun read. It's currently under the uh, Age of Palladian series. I believe uh, issue three just came out. Um, I have to catch up on my reading. And uh, so we'll see in the future if that book gets option. And I still have my Venom 3 first printing. So uh, I still have an extra copy of that. So these are going to be the AOK -okay and the, uh, I believe, the book I purchased. So, uh, all right. So here we go. Oh, sweet. Okay. So this is uh, Moon Knight number one. This is, I forget who did this cover. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this was, this is, I believe, a store exclusive. Uh, does not say. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't think this is a source book. This is uh, a ratio, if I'm not mistaken. This says it has number nine on there. Just can't think of what it is. I'll end up putting it down in the uh, in the comments because. Uh... Oh, here we go. Steve McNiven and Frank the Armada. Here we go. That's what it is. Really cool. Thanks, Jade. I'll put this aside. 
All right. So we got, oh, cool. So uh, really cool. I actually just read issue two today when I'm doing this recording. It just came out. And this is twig number one. And uh, great cover. This looks like it's done by uh, Kyle Schramm. I believe this was um, one of the limited covers, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. But uh, I'm glad to have this because uh, my son read issue one extensively and it's like now beat up <laughs> which is you know honestly the way it should be it should be well read and the uh, issue two is on its way <laughs> for the same thing so uh i've enjoyed the series even even me you know it's been a fun read um issue two was also a fun read and it's you know it's got me hooked i mean you know like i said i got it on pole for the little guy and he's already talking about when issue three is coming out. I was like, oh, dude, we got another month. <laughs> All right. So uh, next book. All right, we got House of Secrets, issue number 109. That's a cool cover. He knows I'm a big Bronze Age horror fan, DC and Marvel, doesn't matter. And it says, Presenting the Immortal, the man who lived a thousand years. Really cool. Looks like this uh, came from Torpedo Comics. Look at that. It's already graded at a fine, very fine. And, um, oh yeah, I remember this book now. Uh, and this was the book I purchased. This was, I believe, it was at one of his shops, if I'm not mistaken. And I saw this cover and I was like, oh, this is fantastic. I think I paid a little under 100 bucks. This is from American Comics Group. This is uh, Pre-Code Horror, Adventures into the Unknown, issue number uh, 22. I just like that hand there, the creepy hand. You see the... The lady there about to be, you know, she looks like she's really scared. Because that hand's going to come after her and you got that nice sigh in the background. Really cool cover. Love that. So that was it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thanks, Jade, for the AOK and the trade. I'm very happy with the books. Those books are awesome. And uh, I know when I show my son the Twig book, he's going to get really excited as well. <laughs> but he's not touching that one. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark with the Comics, out.